आज मेन मुद्दा आशिला गोवा टूरिज्म बोर्ड की मीटिंग एंड फॉर दैट पर्टिक्युलर मीटिंग इज अ फोर्थ मीटिंग ऑफ द गोवा टूरिज्म बोर्ड एंड या मीटिंग व्हिच वाज चेयर्ड बाय द चीफ ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर अलोंग विद मी एज अ को चेयरमैन एंड आवर जीडीसी चेयरमैन बाप गणेश गांवकर इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ चीफ सेक्रेटरी बाप पुनीत गोयल सेक्रेटरी बाप संजय ओझा जी डिरेक्टर बाप सुनील हमसो एम डी ऑफ गोवा टूरिज्म डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन बाप ब्रिजेश मणेरकर एंड ऑल द पीपल फ्रॉम द ट्रेड हु हैव बीन इक्वल स्टेक होल्डर्स इन द गोवा टूरिज्म बोर्ड एक इम्पॉर्टंट मैं देर आर लॉट ऑफ इश्यूज बाय द स्टेटी दैट एज अ रिकमेंडेटरी बॉडी द मीटिंग नीड टू बी हेड रूटीनली फॉर विच वी हेड टूडे फर्स्ट एंड फॉर्मोस अदर अदर दैन कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ द मीटिंग्स एंड रेटिफाइंग द मिनिट्स ऑफ द मीटिंग स्टेकर अंडर वेरियस इसीज वी हैव रफली अबाउट फोर एंपावर्ड कमिटीज एक फॉर न्यू टूरिज्म सर्विस एक फॉर लैंड एंड इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर एक फॉर मार्केटिंग एंड पी आर एंड फोर्थ फॉर लेजिस्लेशन सो ये चार हम जो मीटिंग जवर जवर रफली वी हैव स्पेंड अबाउट क्लोज टू अबाउट रफली अबाउट टू सेवेंटी आवर्स हैव बीन स्पेंड ऑन वेरियस मीटिंग एंड दोज मिनिट्स वे रेटिफाइड बाय दिस पर्टिकुलर बोर्ड टूडे एज पर द स्टेट्यूड ऑफ द बोर्ड द वाइस चेयरमैन ऑन द टूरिज्म गोवा टूरिज्म बोर्ड हैड टू बी अपॉइंटेड So the industry has given the name of Advocate Francis Braganza, which was uh, decided and approved uh, by the board as the vice chairman of the Goa Tourism Board. A recruitment of Goa Tourism Board for the functioning uh, as a body itself, we need people and personnel to do. Along with the Chief Minister, we have discussed this so that uh, in this particular part for normal function, it is not a department functions, GTDC being a SPV functions. But Goa Tourism Board, although we have the whole uh, expertise and the domain to move, we need manpower. For that, that manpower has been taken up with the government. Today, it has been taken up with the board under the Chief Minister and asked for expedition. Unity Mall has been a subjective matter of the uh, uh, vision carried by our honourable Prime Minister. And uh, Invest India in the country are trying to move it fast. Our Secretary of Tourism and the Director of Tourism have been moving fast on this particular concept. Land identification course from our Unity Mall at Kalab, where closely about a project close to 100 crores, and the Unity Mall will be given from the centre, for which will have products from every state plus amche or one distinct one product rodeo fee and various more things can be put in, which can be a quite a tourist attraction. Uh, at K B A proposed a world class, the board has proposed a world class ocean area under centre funds, for which the letter to the Prime Minister has to be given through the Honourable C M has already been moved. And the land which is to be identified at Kutal, which will also have uh, amenities for all air-related tourism, is also being proposed and passed to this board today. Beach surveillance project. I mean, safety of the project. Karta Astana. Beach surveillance has become one of the major factors which has been to give that message of clean and safe beaches. Safety issues are khatir surveillance as a khatir. Nirbaya projects they are side the center. Talking to the centre, we are trying to take help. Then, under this particular part, we will be able to support the idea of getting the surveillance right. Mopa Airport, in particular, we have opened a channel for new flights to come. We have been having, uh, we have been travelling to Dubai, we have Portugal, and everybody trying to attract more tourism, high quality tourism, and peak quality tourism. Actually, Zala, we need new flights coming in, new flights to Goa because charter business also we see. Is a business which has been a balanced business. If we need to get quality more over quantity, we need to start reworking on the new plan along with the board that they have recommended. And Tatun Open Sky or Point of Call or things which can give added seats are required to be brought into Goa. Union Minister Civil Aviation and Pilot 26 percent aviation fuel as a step will be coming to Pak Lele. Honorable CM and Taja Pramana 8 percent aviation fuel aviation fuel as a tax hurdle. And the numbers of flights going up needs to go up. And Taja Nati, Union Minister Civil Aviation, if you want to get a lot of support jointly along with CM, we are looking forward to meeting the Union Minister Civil Aviation to get this issue sorted. So internationally and domestically, mostly internationally, we are able to connect more emerging markets. As we, the Goa Tourism Board did not have a project management unit. It was already tenders. So PMU coming in place will allow the board to get advice in terms of the master plan Revisiting that, talking to the members of the industry and moving things ahead. Uh, as far as tourism infrastructure projects, which were under various schemes of tourism, whether it is for the uh, passenger tourism through water, which is there everywhere, other projects which can be done. One is procurement policy, and second one is uh, in terms of creating infrastructure, which is required under Sagar Mala, is expedited to move it. 
I mean, digital nomad visa has been discussed here, which is a part of tech tourism promotion. And the digital nomad visa Kurpak, external ministry, Kade Ulopak, Mukhemantraja Parath, helps on Sukarche Patale, Tiami Yanga discussed Kela, and if this particular opens, digital nomad visa will give a new opening to homestays, uh, to tech tourism, and to overall the economy and employment, especially economy in the rural belt. Coming to tourism security force, this issue has been discussed for last one and a half year. Because of loss, less of people of uh, police, we have had challenges on the beach, off the beach, in touristic locations. Illegal touting, the safety of the people on the beach. Zao. Police has been the major uh, part which has to a role to play. So we are today putting it across whether the Honorable CMS will be calling for a meeting soon to close this issue before the season starts. So that we have enough people on the beach belt to uh, have policing done in this particular area. Uh, we are talking about uh, government of Dubai and government of Goa exploring economic opportunities and MOU being in place. That was discussed in today's meeting. I am statue has already put in the a very iconic structure of the bow and arrow which we have been discussing in the past, especially in Mandre or Arambol area. That was discussed today. So that becomes a very iconic structure which can give a lot of economic and revenue. Revenue opportunities and employment opportunities to the state of Goa is something which we are talking today. A uh, new Goa tourism become the tourism becomes the main backbone of the whole economy. But as for it, tourism which legislation was not in place. Nal sir, Sarkari agency given we have already put the play uh, uh, act in place. We have stitched it together. Now with the Goa tourism, what the next thing is to move it for cabinet and ensure that the act comes in force in the forthcoming assembly session. Uh, other issues which were related to the today's agenda was the homestay, informative purpose, the homestay uh, policy, the caravan policy, the heritage police, uh, homes policy was being discussed and these three policies will find the light of the day very soon. Uh, agro to uh, eco-tourism, uh, Chief Minister was of the opinion that to build up the story around eco-tourism and rural tourism, agro eco-tourism uh, has to come in, in place. Today we had invited ICAR to come and present themselves in terms of uh, talking about how the agro-tourism, eco-tourism needs to come in. Secretary Tourism is the chairman of uh, Empowered Committee of all policy and legislation. And Tajagadi Homestay, Caravan, Heritage, any agro-eco-tourism, uh, we are ensuring that in the next one, one and a half month, all four policies come in place, which will take help when we say go up beyond beaches, the rural tourism army kirekvarta, that this will be a part which will play in ensuring a circuit around rural tourism. New tourism services, Yocho Patta, there are a lot of people who have signed MOUs in the past, but have not today till they started their services. It might be the amphibian, it might be many other services which they have signed agreements. So I think uh, Goa Tourism Development Corporation has already reviewed it. We have also floated a new expression to understand and ensure that we need more services, whether it's skydiving, other people in place which will allow people to come and spend and take the Goya Samadami quality Munta services with their level of new tourism Harcho Kuttalu and that is what we have moved. Convention center at uh, Rua de Ore which is there and also the uh, hospitality and skill development academy for imparting professional and vocational training to the youth. These both projects were discussed. One is in Farmagodi, one is in Tenji Manga Amcha Paritan Bawaja Dege. Yeah, Doni projects today were Pakkine Zai, operational for Pakkine Zai. What are the challenges? that have been put forth. I think decisions on this also will be taken very soon. IT initiatives, special initiatives to make techno savvy, ease of doing business scaling. But which VGL app, what is the next thing? Like before season we are today talking, which VGL app on we want to ensure that even the public is able to participate. Coily, direct of tourism, shack operators, uh, lifeguarding, I mean beach cleaning agency was involved. Now we public interface also will start for the forthcoming season which will allow us to get a very integrated model as far as the beach vigil app was concerned. Goa Taxi, Bakita Sagar apps also have been discussed so that we are able to formulate and start fast. Integrated beach management has also been discussed in this particular part. Safe and clean beaches with asana safety policy. So lifeguarding, beach cleaning, uh, surveillance, all things have been taken into account that we need to ensure that this comes out ready before the season starts season of the beach starts. Shack policy, we have had representation of the Shack uh, owners association who have come and uh, told about their uh, what is their wish list that has been given to us today as far as the board is concerned. 
the secretary of tourism who has the chairman of the airport committee for policy making he is already taking inputs maybe we will try and ensure that the shack policy comes much before in time we only need to ensure that we get the right information from all the people ek shack owner as a ille unemployed as a unemployed as a machine who are also traditionally involved tanche as a so lot of inputs have been coming so i think we will have a balanced shack policy very clearly for goa and goans they who are traditionally operating these shacks not meant for anybody who are coming suit boot because there are a lot of sometimes discussions ki kon re suit boot galun eta kaalo kon dawa kon has been discussed so here i am on record saying that it is only for goans and we samaj kon kaale kon dawa kon tak ditle subletting kartale dala that we will ensure that strict action will be taken as per the new policy all will be documented as the new policy comes in place water sports issues which were their operations <coughs> last time with cm is uh chaired the meeting along with all the stakeholders and the coastal mlas also input were taken and they were of the opinion that they will have their own system in place within 15 days or one month honorable cm said don't mene we will not uh, do anything let them do it tanche kade jainal ami kariya already season is over we have not got any inputs from them so we will be chairing one more meeting taking the stakeholders and coastal mlas discussing with them what initiatives they have taken otherwise government intervention zone regulated water sports are apache garaj asa and that importantly is the, the support from the industry stakeholders are required ki that we have to realize the long vision plan of the government and goa ki that ami samaj we need to survive and do good business we have to have regulations social media is giving a lot of brand on goa and we need to ensure regulated regulations come in place and with the inclusive approach again water sports is only traditionally for goan and not for white coat kale coat if somebody wants to make a issue post this press i'm putting it in perspective calendar events of participation of goa tourism and international events domestic events and festivals for 2023 and 24 were decided today where we are going to participate in which road shows which markets we want to tap is that one is we have been continuously dependent on two markets russia and uk and we have said in the past that we need to start looking at emerging markets based on the inputs from the industry and there are also suggestions coming in today we are stitching across the whole international events plan domestic plans and festivals for 2023 24 tourism security force has already been discussed for ironman uh, 70.3 i mean last year goa hadilo and we had given them uh, a first year try and then next five years whether we will be able to do it so now today we have approved that ironman uh, goa ironman 70.3 will be a annual event for the next 5 years demarcation yani je amche beach pattern asa on the encroachments if you have seen tumcha press cha madhyamatlan electronic media cha madhyamatlan khub she inputs aile where they have we have seen that the coastline is eroding at the same time there are a lot of encroachments on the on the tourism on the beach at the same time high the port also is coming heavily on encroachment on our structures so one side we need to ensure that the beaches are available for people to walk and enjoy to what goa is known for as the, although we move for goa beyond beaches we need to ensure that our beaches here are operational for the tourist in the right manner what they come for and what they expect from goa tajaga the demarcation process complete kelo asa encroachment areas mark kelo asa the further course will be discussed and accordingly we will ensure that strict action is taken up on the encroachments which have come on the beach yeah various issues have been discussed in today's meeting as far as uh, the fourth uh, gtp board was concerned members if anybody would like to share any input sorry we have any questions can ask so two matlab hai dono dono countries are depend on the international trust they have written the dialogue which we have i mean the reports have come made the report of pramane we have realized that whether it's us whether it's south korea whether it's uae there are many more markets which are opening up for outbound kancha outbound manje amka inbound yo par charter people have a certain way of operating and the charter business slowly will if we need quality then slowly charter business cha peksha we have to look at fits independent travelers coming in taja khatir je participate in these emerging markets in travel marts or by road shows that is what we have taken secondly festivals onu tumi pahila la saujo chikal kalo ek words tara kele festivals etak par purna varsacha calendar e samajh amche dale festivities what we are doing throughout the year the tourist coming domestic or international knows they can go and participate in the mud festival chikal kalam so you can participate in south joe you can participate in carnival you can 
participant in Veerbhadra, you can participate in so many festivals around the state where they can come and book their selves to come. It is not any entry fee, but they can come and participate and enjoy the Goan heritage and culture to its best. Oh, you spoke about international flights and the Kapi Imperial season. Is it only for Mopas or Kapi Imperial for both Dabolim also? Dabolim already has their flights. When we are talking about our flights, we are talking for Dabolim and we are talking for Mopa. It is the option for the, when it comes to open skies, Moscow cannot be the option because it is having its naval restrictions. We have to ensure that whatever is happening in Dabolim is there or goes up. At the same time, Mopa, we need to build up the new story. Is that a restriction national land? Every uh, uh, flight who wants to come in should have the flexibility of landing, taking off everything, so that they are able to operate and give us also their business. So it will is both the ways. The volume as well as not both. Uh, as far as open sky is concerned, it should be more for uh, uh, the so what? Papa. Is a open sky with double equal shakna because of uh, restriction of the. Because, uh, in the past two days, there have been a fear of uh, open sky. Double is expanding actually because today uh, if you see the flights, domestic flights itself, do you know there are 30 flights daily from Bombay to Goa and 20 from Delhi to Goa uh, and both the airports are handling them and the movement is so big that today doubling is on expansion mode. The other time when they thought that it would be affected, so it's just the opposite is happening and uh, even among the other operators, it's looked at. CM is already on record that Dabolim and Mopa both will go a long way. The best tourism department, we are ensuring that Dabolim also moves up and Mopa also moves up. Like we are just said before, we have reports which have been received from experts or from Kappa or in other areas where they have shown, like you have many countries, you have US, you have South Korea, you have Japan. So you have the uh, Middle East also. So you have ABA, Asia, some of countries which are shown as per the report. Germany, yes, sir. UAE, yes, sir. So you have to tap those markets where people come to spend. So this has been finalized, these markets that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are already moving in that line. So we are moving in that line. And the other thing you said, the demarcation of the investment has been completed. So, we talk about so how many uh, encroachment have been done? So we will give you a right. Sir, how these people are still doing illegal employment? Because Khan Khan may be sure that when, when it is so close to the sea area and even when they are aware that this belongs to tourism, still they are active. It is unfortunate that when we talk about responsible tourism, whether it's the tourist or the stakeholder, both have to be responsible. So unfortunately, Zata hai. So we have been very clear that we will help you run businesses, but in a legal manner, not illegal. So ease of doing business, Kartagar Sudha, Roughly about 45% of 50% of the registration of hotels increased in last one year. So if we were at uh, 4,000, today we are at 6,000 hotels registered with board tourism. This was not there before. This has come after the ease of doing business. When we are saying to me, you register Kara, put Kanna Zala, Ami Red Mali Zala, you find him very good. So we have done the pet and the pinch approach. And I think that approach is working. People are coming and registering. People who don't register and are found as illegal, I think hefty fines are being put on them and they will be answerable to those fines. Unity Molache has to lay and identify them. Unity Molache lay and say, we are identifying it as early as possible. Uh, Director of Tourism already is moving it uh, on a very fast mode because this is a uh, scheme of the center and we need to ensure that maximum utilization of this if it happens. It's like one uh, concept where you can come and showcase many things, audio, P, all states having their products, many things, our vintage car museums, many things can be integrated in one model. So it's just the idea, the concept needs to be worked out and ensure that it's got a whole round of things which we can work out for the tourist. So your Norway and Jana Kirtale, Ternak will be able to attract uh, more tourists to come and spend money. Yeah. So, so the unity also central funded as not Central funded. I budget as Rohan, regarding the safety of the tourist and the local, you see the most of the tourists in these days, they are hiring the rent a car and they are misusing it. So what uh, measure of the tourism will take regarding that safety? And the same as for the local, if you see the tourist 
the way they park especially in the panjim city the casino the no parking board is taken away so the local also get a problem because of the tourists so how you will work this parallel together well, i think uh, whatever is being done in the government every department has a role to play sagar tourism acha rehta khare but everyone has a role to play so whether it is traffic whether it is police whether it is local municipality whether it is the panchayat everyone has a role to play uh, but if things don't go right then it comes back on tourism whether we may be direct, directly related or not for which as i said earlier we are coming with a act in place that act will give us little more hands to ensure that certain actions are being taken now when you talk about people moving in open cars jumping on the car don't you think that we should have more to the tourists who are coming to enjoy be more responsible now this is a each civic sense in every individual how can we put it maximum under the act or the available uh, thing we will see what best we can do but kanja state which is tourism to thailand na kota to baki cha kade hota nave kuta hota indonesia hota bali hota you every tourism destination has its own challenges we also have and for which with the help of media we are trying to sort it out you also spoke about ambiguous those issues which was started was the day you were saying that on the meeting was it not is the worldwide was started uh let then you have to put it in progressively ahead so we are looking at it progressively ahead and this year we want to start not only the tourism services but many properties which have been given in the past where tourism may need to buy now get revenue and the people who have not started are not able to start the chief secretary will have a review and if they are able to start we are asking them to start we have had two meetings in the past this is the third meeting over the last one year for them to start if they are starting it is good if they are not starting we have to review the whole thing ki that ek vaat in our inventory of rooms is less second is tourism services need to start unfortunately before there were certain agreements uh, which were given to them and they have not been able to start for their own reasons so that cannot be their operational reasons cannot be answers to our uh, whole idea so we need to move things ahead and for which we will do it but what are the agreements that has been signed like certain agreement the agreement is ready to start today you can start who is stopping him from starting but because of one person not starting you can't have the whole ecosystem of the state not starting ata tu mpbn gyon eta ata tu yat na ata dusra mane mpbn gyon chalu karu sota we are happy to get him on board and start अशो कितोशा सर्विसेस इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू ओनली एम फीवर देर आर सो मेनी सर्विसेस एज न्यू टूरिजम सर्विसेस पैराग्लाइडिंग इन द हॉट एयर बलून कितोशे आसा इन द एयर इन द वॉटर ऑन द रोड वी नीड टू एन्श्योर दैट वी मैक्सिमाइज दिस फॉर द टूरिस्ट टू कम एंड गेट अ गुड एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ बोर्ड स्काय डाइविंग सर तो तुम्हें एक मेंशन करेंगे इंटरनेट टूरिज्म आता पाउस पड़े कारण वॉटरफॉल खूब जरा तरी गए फॉरेस्टर में वो पड़ता लोग खूब डोमेस्टिक टूरिस्ट होता ट्रेकिंग हडल्स ये सारे फॉरेस्ट में अलाउ कर that you get it to my notice that agar pale kon butlo butlo wildlife and butlo sanctuary and butlo ashe jaun shakna ni so kon khai kinak karta tourism ache samaj noc na dala ulong shakna then whether is legal or illegal the police or the forest can decide if we are giving some permission for a trade like i am so md gtdc has already floated indolent tourism with trails tya trail karta astana whoever is coming on board when we are empanelling the trade we will ensure that those people are operative areas are being given to them simple sir uh, beach security cha jeva bolla jate tevha khup vela paryatana cha nadat khup ashe selfie point je ahet te injesh dangerous condition madhe ahet specially tumhi identify kela ka every area which is uh, not selfie point which is dangerous has already been demarcated with a big board ki ikade jau naka ya e line cross karu naka इकड़े सेल्फी काढ़ू ना सग संगित द यूथ ऑफ टूडे आर लिटल मोर टेक्नो सेवी एंड दैट इज वाई वॉट एवर बेस्ट वी कैन डू इट यू रियल इन द लास्ट फोर मंथ्स बैक डिरेक्टर दृष्टि फॉर प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ न्यू थिंग्स वॉट डी केम विथ लॉट ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस रिलेटेड टूल्स विच वे रोबोट्स डॉग स्क्वेड्स मेनी थिंग्स मोर आर बींग लुक फॉर इंट्रोडक्शन विच मैक्म वी कैन डू इन एडिशन टू द लाइफ सेविंग गार्ड्स विच वी की थ्रू आउट द बैंक 
आता कुठे तरी क्लिफ मध्ये सांगितलेलं आहे की तिथे जाऊ नकोस आज तू तिथे जाणार आणि दे इज अ वेव सपोज टू कम इज ऑल्सो रिटर्न देअर यू हॅव अनडुलेटेड वेव कमिंग आणि ते वेव घेऊन तुला गेलं हाऊ इज टुरिझम डिपार्टमेंट ऑर समबडी रिस्पॉन्सिबल इज दॅट इज वॉट बी से रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू टुरिस्ट सस्टेनेबल टुरिझम सिम्पल ते झालं तर वी आर ऑन द राईट ट्रॅक डिरेक्टर Once that meeting happens, we'll be able to comment to you how we are going as far as this season is concerned. But CM has promised that ensure that uh, along with because the trade also has shared their concern that this is the one of the most problematic things which need to be resolved. If the illegality, if the hawkers, if the illegal touting, so that is after they are done, that is why we need to have enough police in place. The GTP constitutes of 50% of uh, industry, 50% of government. and industry today has been very participative in talking about progressive thoughts talking and deliberating about issues that have come on the table ensuring that the best practices are followed ya tatukta nami maka kele dale that the new tourism uh, story which we are building up will start taking shape this year itself so what is the proposed requirement of tourism uh, roughly i think we will discuss this so let us be have one preliminary meeting with the chief minister and then we put it who spoke about the digital nomad is the digital uh, digital nomad is a story building up throughout the world roughly when we had taken up this uh, topic there were about 13 countries when i started with this government today there are roughly about 46 countries whether it is spain ireland or any other uh, areas which have started incorporating and getting the digital nomads to them So for after covid we have realized a lot of domestic tourists are already coming here because of the quality of life we have here and the creative space that they can have for themselves digital nomads are that fraternity who want who want to work digitally away from their office away from their home and want to be in creative space taja khatir je international leta they long haul leta they come for long stays 3 months 6 months 9 months for which they a separate the every country has started giving separate visas for them which is called as a digital nomad visa if this digital nomad visa comes then you have a international tourist coming here for a long stay when he comes for a long stay we are complementing him with a home stay policy which he will stay in one or other rural areas where he will stay with the family eat their food understand their culture also that local family which is women empowered ti bai munis chale tak ti taka local community kare vartale tanche mai masale jao handicraft jao baki jao taka exposure maitlo and Uh, digital nomads are high income group uh, technocrats so they are spending powers also quite high so that is for goa to gain plus as far as it is concerned talent pool creation ko apna the help karte so this is how we are looking at it progressively and i think we should be able to get it done ek da zale ki goa can be in the creative space of a creative capital of the country coming into this space as digital nomads as far as the country is concerned goa can be there. so any update on shaykonar issue last time that they have presented their point secretary tourism as i said is chairing the meeting of a airport committee uh, on uh, policies uh, we have uh, we have got their inputs from various people other than the association and based on that uh, once we take inputs from everybody from the industry then we will come back to you thank you